again today with another tutorial and this one is inspired by Dory from Finding Nemo so I wanted to do something very bright and fun um, so I enjoyed the last tutorial I did so I thought sure I'll just do another so if you would like to see how I did this look just keep watching okay so the first thing I'm doing as always is priming my eye and now I'm going in with my highlight shade On a medium angled brush and I'm just applying this to the brow bone. So now to start this cut crease I'm taking a black eyeshadow So once you have your initial shape you just want to keep going back, adding colour, blending it, adding a bit more and blending. So now to blend out the top part here what I like to do is apply a lighter colour like a grey eyeshadow. Okay, so next you're going to apply the blue eyeshadow. And I know this one isn't dory blue. The eyeshadow I have that is, it doesn't look great by itself. It's not very pigmented. So when you put this one underneath, it just makes it stand out a bit more. It's the NYX palette and I'm just using this blue eyeshadow here. And don't worry if you fall out under your eye like here, you can clean that up pretty easy. So next I'm taking a liquid eyeliner. It's just an essence one. And you're going to start making the wing. Now bear in mind the more, the thicker you do the line, the more lid space you're taking up. Okay, so I just cleaned up under the eye and now I'm going to apply that same black eyeshadow just along the lower lash line. And then I'm just going to smoke out the colour with a pencil brush. Just run it along where you applied the eyeshadow to blend it out. And I'm just going to lightly define my eyebrows just to make everything to look a little bit neater. Okay, so usually when I do a look like this that is quite bright and um, extravagant, I'll tone down everything else on my face. So I just applied my foundation powdered it, um, applied some bronzer and now I'm just going to apply a gloss. And the reason I'm doing that is because if you apply anything like a bright lip colour it's going to distract, it's going to take away from your eyes. So just a little gloss like that is perfect. So thanks very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you did don't forget to subscribe.